Okay, welcome to the uh, the part two of the series of professional retouching. And we've gone through the first stage where we've actually cloned out and healed up uh, the loose hairs and other blemishes on the image. But there are sometimes some things that you can't actually see with the eye that need to be corrected before it goes to a professional printer. Uh, and quite often cameras take pictures and the sensor spots on there that you can't see. Obviously you've got a white background, but if this was printed out, it could be that those areas could show up. So what we're going to create on our layers, so I'm gone, gone to the layers there. I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to click on the group and in the group I'm going to put uh, an adjustment layer. So we go to the adjustments and I'm going to click on the curves. Now this is something that you need to follow by the eye. So what I'm going to do is in this left hand bottom corner I'm going to drag this anchor up to about two thirds. If you look at the squares on there it's about two thirds up there and then I'm going to do the same on this side to about the same area roughly and then we work in sort of in between these boxes. So I'm going to come to about this area and I'm going to click on that line, which will put a point, and I'm going to drag that up to about the same area where, else, where I'm clipping at the top there. So I'll level with this area there. And then I'm going to come down. So we need a, a new point there. So I'm going to Click there and come down to about that area. And I'm going to click at the bottom and come back up. So I'm going like up and down. Click there and come down. And then just space these out. Something like that. And we can move down a little bit further. Just so we've got something like that. Now, what this does is if we now look at the screen and we look at the image, we can look at the background of the image and see that there's actually some marks on there. You see a large sensor spot there that you couldn't see with the eye. So this is a little, a little layer that uh, a little adjustment that we've used, just to help us see things that the eye can't see and could cause problems in the print uh, process. And it's, it's just getting it so that you can see these these blemishes. Now, what we're actually going to do now is look at our layers again. Do these adjustments and I'm going to click on the edit layer and I'm going to create a new blank layer just above the edit layer okay now to start with I'm just going to hide the curves in the group one and I'm just going to change the name of that group to help. I'm going to call it help because it, it's basically not going to be used in the image, it's just to help us. And if I click that back on, we can then just hide the complete folder to get rid of that. So back to our layer. What are we going to do with this layer? Well, we're going to paint over 
the white area so that it hides and gets rid of these sensor spots. Now, to help us do that, first of all, we need to go to the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to click the eyedropper tool on the white area about here. And that will give me exactly the same color as, as that sample that I've clicked on which will now be displayed on there. That's the color we're going to use to paint. But before we paint, I need to turn back on my help folder. So I can use this now to paint over all these blemishes that are on the background. So I'll go and select my brush. I'm going to change the, the layer mode, so it's on normal at the moment, I'm going to change that to screen. Use a larger brush to start with, and basically we're just going to paint. I'll just make sure that oh, the opacity of my brush should be at 100%, so I'll drag that up. And I'm going to click and paint out these areas. So I'm just doing the large areas first. I'm going to use a slightly harder brush and I'm going to take the hardness down just a little bit. So I'm going to go down to about 25%. Now it looks horrible, but of course it won't look like this when we finish because we won't be seeing this effect on the screen. The effect is just helping us see all the blemishes on the background. And paint them out. Okay, so we're getting there. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to take, use the keys to resize my brush and just I'm going to go right to the edge. Let's go close to the edge there. You know, reasonably close to these loose strands of air because it will actually help dissolve those slightly where the air is a bit messy. And it looks fairly drastic, this, but it doesn't look so drastic when we take off that effect that we're using. The effect's on there so we can actually see to brush much easier and get it in the correct place. Use a slightly bigger brush again and just get closer to, to this area. Take down the brush size. There we go, we carry on painting around the edge. That's looking okay now. Now if we just hide the curves layer or hide the help folder itself, you can see 
doesn't look much when we eye this layer but it is I actually change that to normal we'll use normal instead of uh, that's looking much much nicer on the normal mode and it lie those effects a lot more so that's using this technique you see just how that's affected that and they'll give us a much neater background okay and that's against a white background obviously if we was um, working with a colored background we wouldn't paint over it it's an easier way to paint over it if you've got a white background and it suits this image but if not, it would out emphasize areas where you could use the clone brush and actually clone uh, the background layer to get rid of any. Like if you've got a, a natural sky, it's no good painting it. You, you would actually use, it would help you emphasize the area that you need to alter. You would click on your edit layer and then you'd use the clone brush to clone out those areas. Now, I could actually probably show you that on this white part. So if you're working with a, a colored background or a, a background, natural background. So I'm just gonna hide this layer, pretend that's not there. And we'll turn this back on. So you can see the two main spots. The rest would really wouldn't matter. They're, they're not spots. They're just the, the, the color of the background. But these nasty looking spots here need to be corrected. So I'm on that layer now, and if I click on the, the clone tool, and I adjust that, and I click, and you can see, that's that's the other way of doing it. I've actually used the white paint because I, I want to make sure that's a, a really bright white background, so that's the, working with this white image, it's gonna give it much more effect to doing that. Well, that's the other way. So I'm going to put the, the white back on there now. And we'll hide the curves layer or we'll hide the help folder. And basically that is what we started with. And you see the, the strands there there. We corrected all that on that layer. And all we've done now is to hide and get rid of all those uh, spots and, and nasty artifacts that was on the background and I say working with this with this image I wanted to, to paint on the background to, to actually give it a nice bright uniform background okay so what we're actually going to do now before before we go on to the next stage is we'll do the next process and basically now I've got this this edit layer there I'm going to copy that I'm going to right click and duplicate the layer and rather than edit copy we're going to call this um, soft light and we're actually going to change the layer mode so when we've gone on soft light there when you can guess what I'm going to change it to I'm going to change it to soft light and you can see the effect that that gives really nice just adds more contrast and that's something we can change the opacity on you know we're not too worried at the moment because we're not going to be viewing that at the moment we'll probably turn it off for a while but i'm going to actually drag this to the top above all the other layers except the help layer and there we are. You see already we're starting to look much more professional. And the next stage, what we will do is to equal up the light in the picture. Because if you look at the left of the image, that is where the light's coming from. And it's darker on the right hand side. And what I want to do is to show you how to, to actually get that so it's more balanced you wouldn't do that with all images but i think it would rather suit this it just darkens a bit too much to the right hand side and that will be the next stage of actually the 
courses to learn how to do that part so bear with me and we'll be back with the next video very shortly